So I am on my comfy lounger, garden to one side, the chair to the other, and then beanies on the top. I'll take that umbrella and put it upstairs soon, but it kind of gives like this beach feel. Um, but yes, this is very comfortable and it's very, very hard. So I feel like it's actually quite good because it's like therapeutic because I can feel like my back, my arms, my uh, shoulders being pushed back almost because it's quite hard and flat. Um, and yes, it is definitely very comfortable. And I today I watched uh, the Blink Twice film and I almost missed it. Um, I think it's been in the cinema for a while, but when I was looking through the Everyman films, it had a really shitty picture on the front and I didn't recognize the name. And it was just the day that um, someone was talking and saying the Diddy parties uh, seem similar to what's going on in the Blink 2 film. And, um, and I didn't know what that film that was. I thought it was like an old film or something. And, and then I, I, when I went to see what film to watch tomorrow, because I haven't seen a film in the Everman for a week, so I was thinking, what, what film should I watch tomorrow? And it turned out that um, I saw the Blink 2 and I was like, oh, it's not on tomorrow. And today was the last day. So I, I've, I've seen it. Um, it was pretty sick. Um, but yes, I, I think it would have been better with a better ending, like an ending where um, she invites him to the house, um, but whilst also knowing that she's kind of like regularly drugging him. So I think that would have been a better twist um, rather than just have her in the gallery because you're kind of confused. Like what, what is like what is she doing with the guy that was that was drugging her? Why is she kind of. I don't know. She's obviously turned the table, and she's obviously the one in the power in, in power now. Um, but why, you know, why does he? Um, why? What's what's her plan? What's her plan of revenge? And uh, you didn't quite see it. So I think the only way I would have changed that um, would have been to add a, a proper plan. Because when when the others when when one or two characters started dying, that the two of the the bad characters started dying, I was like, oh, that's all they're gonna get. That's just just a, a death. That's like they they deserve a lot. If if that was real. They deserve a lot more but i also felt that it was very unrealistic because whoever would do something like that um is obviously very sick obviously very mad and i think you would recognize it um in in their madness or in their sickness you know people who are psychopathic often will make jokes about death or or make jokes about hurting others and and therefore i feel like there'd be a lot of warning signs if you are in <coughs> the presence of of some people that are, are planning on, on doing terrible things to you whilst you, you are drugged. I, I think there would be more indication on what kind of person you you are dealing with. I saw, what's that, See No Evil or something last um, last week where there was um, a couple that um, would find another couple with a kid, kill the couple and, and then steal the child, um, but then chop off the child's tongue and then reuse that child to try and get two more victims um, and I guess the point would be to, to strip them off all their money so they have to find victims that are semi-rich get them to pass all over their money and um, and then kill them and, and steal all their wealth and stuff I think that would be the plan I think with with that one it was um, it was more believable when you started seeing a psychopathic side to these the, these two characters um, I felt like it was more believable whereas with, with this film um, you know they seemed just to think that they'd be like all friendly during the day and then um just completely horrible and, and terrible in the evening I, th I felt like that was um it it was a character that's not realistic to real life it's great for a film and it was well it's great for a sick film um but i i i just felt like there was no real um base on reality but um the other film where they had people planning on stealing or befriending two victims stealing all their money um and and then um using having using their kid as a way of trying to get another victim um by pretending that that kid's theirs and trying to lure in someone else you know i've got a kid you've got a kid hey let's let's hang out together you know um oh i've got a sneeze <coughs> um i felt like that storyline was was more grounded in uh, in something that might actually happen um whereas this one wasn't but it was um it's definitely going to to fan a lot of um conspiracy theorists mind you know if people talk about P um diddy's parties they they might be reminded of this film so it's interesting how this case has come about at the same time as as this blink um blink twice film because i'm sure there's there's a lot of weird people who who would link the two together and be like yeah did he like that when when i i think the character they had in in these films are just 
completely unrealistic. I mean, I'm sure there might be some truth. Um, but yeah, I think having a party, drugging someone and, and doing things overnight is one thing. But doing it every thing, like doing it over and over again, I just think is, is very unrealistic. And it's, it's, a, it's not likely to be the truth. Um, but, I, but I guess this world is crazy and there are a lot of sick people here. So anything could be the truth here. But at the same time, I, I just, um, yeah, I feel like fear is, is what, if someone would believe something like that, it would, I think fear is partly, partly part of that. Um, but yes.